are going to the Asian market to try and rescue a Dungeness crab. Now, you guys might be saying, Josh, didn't you already do this before? Haven't you gone to the Asian market, got Dungeness crab and named a pancake? Isn't he the cutest thing ever? Why would you want to rescue another one? Well, here's the thing. It's true. I cannot keep all the crabs in the world as my pet. However, yesterday I was with Jeremiah and we happened to be at the marketplace. I went to look at the tanks that we found pancake in and lo and behold, there was only one crab in there. Usually there's a whole bunch, but there was just one solitary crab. Now I was like, uh, I don't know if I have what it takes to take care of him. So I, we just left. But all day yesterday and a whole bunch of this morning, I've just been thinking about that poor little crab alone in the tank. And so I thought, okay, maybe this will be the last Dungeness crab. But he's the same size as Pancake. Let's see if he's still there. To be honest with you guys, the chances of him still being in that tank are very slim. Dungeness crabs are in high demand right now. He's probably in the pot at somebody's house being boiled. Sorry if that's too graphic, but um, I do hope he's there because then we will have a friend for Pancake, another Dungeness Crab. I really hope he's here. Around this corner are the Dungeness Crab tanks. Let's go find out if he's here. Oh my goodness, guys. I see him. I see him. Check this out. Oh, look at him. <laughs> hey, buddy. Are you still alive? We're here to save you. We'll get you out of here. I'm really happy that he's still here. He's not moving at all though. I don't know if he's still alive. Let's find out. Okay, Jeremiah, you stay here. Make sure no one else gets the crab. I'm going to go summon someone. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, perfect. I'm not even kidding. As soon as we snatched this crab, a lady came up, she was gonna get one. She's like, oh wait, was that the last one? We just saved it. <laughs> okay, I'm currently running because I'm at Walmart. I need to get a specific basket for the new crab. I don't want him to overheat, um, but we need a place to quarantine him so that when we prepare him a new home, we can um, have him quarantined first. Where's the baskets? I think this should do the trick. Okay, where's Jeremiah? Jeremiah has been driving around. Oh, there he is, that little white car. He's been driving around with the crab in his car with the AC on full blast because if crabs get even a little bit too hot, they easily die. There you go, dude. Oh, instantly his eyes open. That's awesome. There he is. Now he is a male because most Dungeness crabs are males that are in the store. It's actually illegal to keep the females. I've been trying to think of a name and I'm thinking I want to name him Croissant. What do you guys think? Name him Croissant? Jeremiah, how do you say it in French? It's Croissant. We're going to let him soak in then we're going to give him his first meal. Then we're going to make him a new home. Honey, come here. Honey, come here, come here, come here, I love you. I have some pretty sad news. Pancake the crab has passed away. I still don't know what happened the day before he was energetic, healthy as ever. Shortly after bringing croissant home, he started to get sluggish. I was a little bit nervous, but I also knew that male Dungeness crabs molt in the late summer, so I assumed that's what he was doing. Sure enough, he gets more and more sluggish, becomes dormant, and that's what crabs do is they become dormant when they're about to molt. They start soaking in the water, calcium, nutrients, and then eventually they bust out of their shell. Well, I just thought I'd let Pancake do his thing. He becomes dormant, just sits in his tank. This is funny, by the way. We just got done with the hike. Uh, he was just sitting in his tank, motionless. And I assumed he was just soaking in the water, about to bust out of his shell any second. The next day, he was still in his shell. I researched it a whole bunch and was like, do crabs take a whole day to molt? And sure enough, some do. So I was like, I'll give him a whole nother day. 
just let him do his thing. The next day, he still hadn't moved, and so I was like, okay, I better check. Pick him out of the tank, give him a good sniff, and he is definitely gone. Even though I did everything I could possibly imagine to help Pancake be healthy, part of me can't help but be upset at myself because obviously something went wrong. I don't know what though, I actually reached out to a professional aquarium veterinarian who had actually studied Dungeness crabs and they helped me really nail down having a variety in the diet, clams and fish, shrimp, as you guys know, worms. The oxygen levels were perfect, the salt levels perfect, temperature perfect, the water was really clean. My only guess is that something went wrong during the molting. And after researching it a lot, apparently a lot of things can go wrong. On the bright side, Pancake lived with us for six whole months, which is six months longer than he would have lived if we had not saved him from the grocery store. Nonetheless, he will be very missed. He had quite the personality. He loved bubbles. He loved eating. He loved burying in the sand. There was also that crazy time where I thought he was dead and then he revived right at the last moment. I know a lot of the comments are probably going to be about how I could have saved Pancake if I had tried this or tried that, but in all honesty, I was micromanaging that habitat. I'm also sad that I won't be able to introduce him to the new home I was preparing for him. I designed the tank so that it has a divider in the middle for when I'm not watching to keep the crab and lobster separate so that they're safe from each other. I was really looking forward to showing Pancake his new home. It's kind of sad. Sorry the video took a turn like this, but I want to be transparent with you guys and just show the realness of taking care of animals. Um, you try to do the best you can, give them the best life possible, but truth of the matter is sometimes something goes wrong um, and pets die, so. That's just a reality. Honey's exhausted from our hike. I'm gonna take her home, give her a banana, and then we're gonna introduce Croissant to the home that Pancake never got to enjoy. Honey absolutely loves bananas. Come on, girl. Here. There you go. Let's get out of here, huh? Oh, whoa. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> I think Croissant is ready to come out of his plastic basket cage. So here we go. Just gonna reach in. Hopefully he doesn't reach around and pinch me. Hey buddy, there he is. There's croissant. And into his new home. There you go, buddy. Think he likes it? What do you think, dude? He's already trying to dig in the sand. When's the last time you touched sand, dude? Oh, there he goes. That's not even the place he's supposed to dig. Oh well, he'll find that later. <laughs> Man, this brings back memories. How's it feel, dude? There he goes, digging in the sand. Something I've noticed about Croissant is he's a lot more timid than Pancake was. He's very observant of his surroundings and a lot more cautious, I would say. Notice how he just freezes there and kind of observes what's going on. Make yourself at home, dude. So Croissant seems like he's having a hard time digging in the sand. I want to try to coax him over here because that's where the real sand is. 
also he's probably really hungry, so I'm gonna use a shrimp, a big juicy shrimp. Shrimp was one of Pancake's favorite food, so this is kind of to honor him. We're gonna give Croissant a shrimp for his first meal in who knows how long. Although, like I said, Croissant is a lot more timid. Oh, he wants it though. Okay, come on, dude. I don't want to tease you too much. In the wild, they do have to work for their food a little bit, so it's okay to tease them a little bit, make them work for it. Here you go, dude. Come on. Over here. Come on, dude. You know what? We're just going to let him have it. He's probably pretty hungry. There you go, man. There you go. Get it. Oh, yeah. Who knows when the last time he ate was. Oh, he's just devouring that. <laughs> Look at that. He's ripping the peel off so he can get to the juicy meat inside. Nice. The journey that croissant took from the ocean to the grocery store was probably absolutely exhausting and taxing. So this shrimp will give him the much needed nutrients to recharge and hopefully get back to full health. I wonder if Waffle can sense that there's a new creature in the tank. Many of you are probably wondering how Waffle, the lobster, is doing. Well, she's actually doing really well. She loves hiding in this little rock cave. And a crazy thing happened. She laid eggs. This came as a complete surprise, but one day I found a little clump of eggs floating outside of her cave. Now, sadly, these eggs got disattached from her tail and so they won't hatch, but there's still thousands of eggs underneath her curled up tail. Also, if she mated with a male within the past two years, then the eggs will still be fertile. So there's a pretty high chance that they are. Toast is also doing really well. When we got him from the grocery store, he was motionless and really sick. That's why I even got him. But he made a full recovery and is enjoying this temporary little tank home. I gave him a piece of shrimp here and he seems to be wanting to intimidate me. Croissant is enjoying his new home. He loves sleeping in the sand. He also loves eating. Pancake will definitely be missed. I'm glad we were able to help another Dungeness crab from the grocery store. This was definitely more of a raw down to earth video. I appreciate you guys watching and joining me on these journeys that are sometimes sad, sometimes exciting, and I hope you'll join me for many more adventures. I'm excited about the next video. It's about a little baby blue crab that I got from the bait shop.